Hey, I'm KIC. Welcome back to Gunsmith. Thank you to C-Corp Technologies for the key we're using to play today. We are almost out of materials. It's time to buy a crap ton. Let's buy 10,000 of that. We're going to buy uh, 2,000 of that. We're going to buy... Oof, this stuff's expensive. 200 of that. And we're going to buy 200 of that and 200 of that. And just like that, we've blown through like 100k today in super, super short order. I kind of mentioned at the end of the last episode that maybe I would be able to find a way to cram in another set of all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, these guys, I can technically reuse them because they go quickly. Cool stuff as it passes through. This just shakes like crap. It's basically it. It just shakes like crap. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's actually supposed to mean. So really, all we need to do is put another... Roll dispenser, another puncher, and another extruder in. And so long as we can kind of reorganize some of this stuff, we can reuse the heaters, the coolers, etc. Now, I didn't do that. Uh, let's see, where did we do that? That was somewhere way over here. Somewhere over here, yeah, where I kind of have individual lines set up and I have a lot of heaters and coolers. And it's not really efficient. I kind of mentioned that yesterday, I, I think. I think I did. I don't know. Cat... Did I say that? I don't remember. I have a vague memory of saying something about efficiency and I just kind of throw crap down and kind of get things rolling and then I then I start to worry about efficiency. But whatever. Anyway, we're going to get there sooner or later. It's not a big deal. We have some new orders available. I'm kind of tempted to... Oh, I bet I can't fill you. Oh, yep, you're gun. Okay. Whatever. I, I kind of want to go through some of this a little bit just to see if there are any others we can fill... How many vests do we need for that one? Not many. There we go. That's 30 grand. Let's just go ahead and fill that guy, and we'll get rid of the backpacks, too. That way, we can at least get a little bit of money coming in, because we are blowing through, like, a lot of money a day. And in fact, here, let me drop our research budget, just so we can save a little bit of money. There we go. That's, that's feeling a little better. We've got 400 research points available anyway. This stuff's going to be kind of expensive, I suspect. Maybe, maybe not. Actually, it looks like no. This stuff won't be expensive. That's when it starts to be a little pricey. Five grand, whatever. We're going to be okay for the time being. Let's see if we can indeed cram an extra roll dispenser in here. And, oh man, I got to figure this one out. Because I want to... I want to be able to reuse all my heating and cooling. And honestly, I don't think there's enough space over here. I'm just looking at this and I'm going, man, there's not enough space because I got to be able to have something spit out to the side. So if I did it over here, that would put it in the correct order. Oh man, this starts to get pricey just dropping these machines down. I mean, we're going to use them eventually, so I guess it's no big deal. But I'm just kind of looking at this stuff and I'm going like, really? So then we go puncher to extruder, right? So... 2,500, and you're going to eject off to the side, and then we need an extruder, which is going to be under forming, and that goes right there, I think. I don't even know that that works. I think we actually, I think we need a, a belt to make that one work. Ah, oh, crud. If that's the case, I mean... I might be able to do something like this. I've got to... I mean, I basically have to put a bunch of belts in here to make this work to begin with. So I've got to do something like this where I can... Ideally, uh, uh, that'll work. Something like this. So that connects to that guy. Problem is, this needs to then spit out. Um, if I exchange this with... I'm just going to put this guy over here for right now. If I exchange that for a one meter belt and have you basically eject straight into the extruder, then theoretically what that means is I can put a one meter belt between these and uh, I don't think there's enough space to do this. Um, we need you to go right and to the right and to the right. <laughs> Oh, crap. I have... I, I don't really have any concerns about the other one working correctly. I think that'll be okay. I have concerns about that one working. 
If it does work, I'm going to say I did a good thing. Because, wow, we need some more fire juice. So let's put in another, uh, I don't know, gas dispenser. So obviously that should go in the bathroom because, I mean, that's where gas is dispensed, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? There we go. There's our gas. Let's go turn this crap on and, and see what happens. Uh, we still have some free shelves, so we're good there. New orders are available. We're slowly running out of money. It's excellent. How are we doing on our products? Uh, we're doing okay. We're going to need more of this stuff, so let's just buy another 20 grand worth of this stuff, basically. I'm going to turn everything on, I think. So let's go ahead and turn you on. We're going to turn you on. We're going to turn you on. I will specifically tried to stagger them so that one spits out and they don't run into each other. Okay, we're going to turn you on and then we shall turn that guy on, that guy on, that one on, and then now let's go back to this side and turn all these on. Like I said, I think this side... Oh, crap. I don't have enough power. I don't have enough power! You know what? Don't turn that on then. Turn that off. I thought I had placed enough. Clearly not. We need more power. Uh, I'm not going to go back to that other corner. I'm just going to start cramming them back here where I can. One, two, three. Okay. So let's try this again. I got to remember, always, always work from the front back. So go this way and then kind of work your way backwards. That way, when you start to turn things on then they'll already be functional and waiting for you and ready to go instead of not actually processing the materials you were passing to them. There you go. All right. So theoretically, we should be punching out all sorts of crap right now. Uh, I see a bunch of bullets going in that way. What do we got going on on this side? You're not... You're not actually moving. Um... Okay, let's, let's pause that. What if we do it like this? What about now? There you go. Okay. So that was a little too close. Lesson learned. It needs a little space. It doesn't like to be cramped. Although it works fine right here, which is weird. I don't know. I'm not... Hmm. All right, whatever. Don't ask questions. Just run with it. So these guys are all going through here. You guys are all coming out, all nice and formed. We're just shaking the crap out of them. They should be... Um... What's coming in? Okay. Did I miss something in the cookbook? I bet I did. Oh, crap. Alright, so we go heat, cool, shaking of waste... And then cap reformer. So what in the crap am I spitting out? Extruded. Do I... <gasps> I didn't have the waste shaker turned on. Oh, no! No! All right, well, um... That's cool. Let's buy some more stuff. And do I have an extra dispenser somewhere? I'm pretty sure I do, because now we've got a crap ton of 45 that we can just dispense right out into uh, stuff. Uh, this... Wow, this moves so slowly now. I'm like, come on. Can I... Ever, oh, if I hold down shift, I can run like in an FPS. Exciting! Actually, that is super exciting. I had no idea. That... That actually kind of makes a lot of really good sense. That's that's a nice little uh, that's a nice little touch. I like that actually. That's really cool. Uh, select output. Uh, no, no. Select output from inventory. We want to output not 45 punched, 45 extruded. Alright, there you go. So theoretically we're going to be extruding the crap out of this machine. This guy's going to be like, overload! Overload! Actually it only takes a couple seconds to process, so you know what? One and two, done. There you go. It'll be just fine. And then this, theoretically, will go through our our extruded pile here. Um, 
I don't know that it's actually getting rid of anything because we're creating so many. I don't know that that's going to work. I might have to turn everything on to get rid of all of them. I don't know. I, I end up with things I don't under don't don't quite understand with this and I'm like, eh, whatever, just just run with it. Just run with it. Alright. Do we have any 45 being boxed over here? That's my question. We have five. Alright, perfect. We've got to go fulfill some orders. Crap, you're still not ready. That's That's a problem, man. It's a problem. I really need you to fulfill that order if you don't mind. There we go. We'll fill that one. Well, you still have enough vests. All right, Major. There you go. Enjoy your pants and vests and whatever that was. I kind of want to do this one just to knock this out. But uh, we're really waiting for 9 mil. So we'll go ahead and take that one. But we're going to fill the other one first. And then what do we have going on over here? Backpacks and gloves. We're actually pretty close to being able to take... Backpacks and gloves, that's not going to affect us. We'll take this one because we're going to be able to fulfill that in really short order. Trousers and backpacks. Now, we just took one for backpacks, so we're not going to take this one just yet. We're going to let that one kind of percolate, and we'll come back to that. Trousers we turned off, so maybe what we'll do is we'll turn trousers back on. Oh, new orders just popped in just like that, and I... There we go. That is going to say I lost track of what I was looking at, but right there, that's what I was looking at. That one. Combat boots, etc., etc. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Boots. We might need to go turn trousers back on for a, a, a bit of a spell here. Just to, just to get a little more product in the inventory. I think we'll do that, actually. So here, let's go. Hold down shift. Can I hold down control and go into super slow mode? No, doesn't work. I tried it. So if we find our line control, we can turn... Oh, we're not going to have enough power to turn all this on. <laughs> uh, there's no way. There's no way we can turn all of it on. There is a way we can turn all of it on. All right. I stand corrected. We need... We need more of this stuff, apparently. I might need to go turn the other guys off. We'll, we'll go inspect that in a little while buy some more plastic. I mean, I'm basically investing hard right now in the hopes that uh, we'll be able to do stuff later. I kind of want to flip. I think I've talked about this. Flip this whole thing around. Like, if I could just somehow grab everything and go RR to rotate, rotate, and then I could eject my line, like, boom, right onto there. That would be spectacular, but uh, it doesn't quite work that way. It's okay. It's not a huge deal. Let's go back over here and... Uh, nope, not you. I wanted to go back to this one, actually. So you have a hundred of that that you're outputting. All right, let's turn this off. We, I clearly wasn't paying attention. That's what happens when you run out. You end up not seeing that it piles up because, again, I'm not doing it the right way, and I totally recognize that. It's just the way it is. Do you have any gun cotton stocked up? Not really. 54, and then what do we have over here? We should have... Didn't mean to do that. I crap-a-doodle. Um, that's going to be a problem. Uh, I don't even know where that was supposed to go now, because I can't place it anywhere because that crap is in the way. Dang it! Right here. I think you're correct spot now. I, I don't know. Actually, I think you're supposed to be one over. You're supposed to be right there. Okay. Phew, because that's not going to line up properly over here if I don't do that. Ah, man. I was holding shift and for some reason didn't think it would move it. No, it does. It does. Okay, these guys are turned off. They're fine. That's off. So we're not going to go through as much cellulose or nitro, nitromethyl cellulose, whatever all those things are. Can we fulfill an order yet? We can do that one. We can do... We can almost do this one. That's going to be awesome. We're going to need more backpacks for that one. No, oh no, wait a minute. I'm not even looking at... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So we're doing this one right here. Let's knock that guy out. That gets us back over 100 grand. Let's knock... Not you. We're waiting for 300 bullets. And we'll knock that one out. So we're back up to 520 trousers. We're not going to leave that running the whole time. 
but we will leave that running for quite a while. Okay, let's go back over here, and I need to put a new line control down, so I want to do a new, a new one, and this is going to be 45. We'll just name it nice and easy like, uh, and we're going to pop you down right in the middle there, because I, I guess that seems to work just fine right there. Let's put all of these guys in place here. Puncher, blah, 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 blah. That and that and that and that and these guys. I really do need to go through and start adding everything so I can make sure I get every little thing, like, so that every part of this factory has some sort of line control, some sort of production line in it, but that's okay. How are we doing over here? You're still just kind of doing your own thing. That's fine. What I might do for the moment is turn off... Let's see, where are we at? Bullet puncher. Can I can I increase the size of this window? That would be spectacular because this is kind of obnoxious not being able to see everything. Where did I not get the other roll dispenser? I think I missed it. Roll dispenser 5. And, oh, I did. There we go. Add that guy. Okay. Perfect. So, let me bring that up again and... Nope, it does kind of do it in that order. Okay, fine. I want to turn off the roll dispensers just for a moment. These guys probably still have a bunch of rounds that they are going to output, not to mention a bunch of brass already loaded up in there. So I'm just going to let them go. I'm really just trying to get rid of all this 45 we have lying around. That's all it's about. Can we fulfill this guy? Almost. Look at that. Five more boxes. Holy crap. Come on, man. Come on. We're up to 600 trousers, too. That's exciting. Everything is looking like it's going pretty well. One of these days, I really just need to get in and make this better. I mean, this, this is silly. Like, I mean, all these extra things over here... Yeah, I need to just flip this stuff around so that... Well, this is, this one was an interesting one, if I remember right. You, you do have to shake it first. So what we could do is shake it into a... Uh, whatever they're called. Shake it into a splitter that goes into the bullet extruder and then come back into a merger... That goes... Uh, see, it starts to get crazy here. That goes into the heater and the cooler. That goes into the shaker. That goes into another heater. Then all that works. Okay, so that actually would be fine. Let's go ahead and check that one off. Done! There we go. Just like that, we're back up to 200 grand, and I probably need to spend more money. All right, we're fine for right now. This one's going to take a little while because we just got through all of our 9 mil. And let's see, we... Probably should stock up on some more trousers, but I'm just kind of looking at this going, yeah, we could do this. I mean, it requires flipping this stuff around a little bit, but that's totally fine. That's totally doable. I mean, the way I built this stuff, it's just, it's a mess. Let's, let's not, let's not dilly-dally, let's not dance around the subject. It's a mess. And then this guy over here, I need, I need plastic fittings. If only I could eject those plastic fittings, and they're not considered part of my inventory, are they? Only three of these guys are. Ah, oh, that's obnoxious. If I could somehow eject all of these plastic fittings, that would be... That would be lovely. I don't even know what this one is supposed to be making. Backpacks? Backpacks. And look at all these plastic fittings just falling down on the ground here. I guess I need to add another another one meter belt because not all of them are making it on. I mean, hey, look at that. There are more plastic fittings in the inventory wherever they are. We're up to 20 now. That really doesn't help. That dispenser does not work, so that dispenser actually needs to come out. And then... I mean, it works. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it's not... It's not ideal. It's not where it's supposed to be. I wonder if we... So this goes through cutting over here. Could I... 
I might have to turn this stuff off for a while to play with it. I'm just looking at this and going, can I take this output here and split it over here somewhere, but still get the cutting and zipping done? I don't know. I mean, I basically crammed it into as small a space as I could. I don't think it's going to work out right. I just, I think I have to redo this whole thing for this area at least. It just, I just need a little more space and then I can make it work. So let's not sweat that one. What other orders can we go through here? We should have some new ones that we're able to fill. At least I am hopeful of such. This one will be on, it'll be able to be done pretty soon. We'll go ahead and check that one as an order that we would like to fill. Go ahead and get rid of that one because we have a bunch of gloves. I'm going to hold on to that backpack one. We might not want that one just yet. We need to look for some other kinds of ammunition. I mean, the thing I have learned thus far... We'll do that one. We have some backpacks. It wasn't using a lot of them. Is that it is really... Really slow to make ammo in this game. You've got to really want it. I mean, you've got to set up lots and lots of production lines if you want to be able to knock it out quickly. Which, I mean, that's fine. But... Can I have copy-paste, please? I've already done this. I don't want to keep doing it. I don't want to keep designing everything. I mean, I'm not saying my designs are perfect. I'm just saying it'd be pretty cool to just copy and paste what I've already done. Like, take a, like copy, a, copy a production line. Like, that's perfect. Create your production line. You got to include all of the belts with it, though, or even not. I mean, even that would be okay, I think. And then, boom, spit that bad boy out. Be done with it. That would be amazing. That'd be so awesome. Let's fill, the, let's fill what we can with these orders. You want that one? I'll give you that one. And those ones, you guys are not ready yet. You can do some glovey gloves. Some boots and some trousers, and look at that, we're back up to 236. Now, I know it doesn't look like we're doing particularly well, and part of that is we're not doing particularly well. Uh, part of that is also, why in the world are there so many boots just lying on the ground? By the way, I don't think anyone called me on it. I, oh wow, look at you. Holy crap. We've got a boot pile up. What in the heck is going on? Um, I mean, we've got soles everywhere. we got boots lying around. Holy cow. This is a mess. And that one just fell off right there. That's, that's excellent. Um, apparently, this is not working very well. It seems like it works sometimes, but not... Well, now it doesn't look like it works any of the time. How did I end up with so many plastic boot soles on the ground? This one kind of works. Wow, apparently I need to redo my whole boot production, too. This looks terrible. It doesn't even work. Oh, that's spectacular. How many more boots would we have if this actually worked? Probably tons. Holy cow. Let's not eject any more materials. This is... This is dumb. Let's turn all these things off. Cutter, you just stop. And you know what? You stop too, you stop too, and you stop too. I mean, I didn't even realize that that was happening. Clearly, I did not realize that was happening, or I would have taken care of that a long time ago. Well, I... <laughs> See, these are the things that I set up quite a while back, like that one. I don't even know why that's moved. That should have been right there. Like, I can't even explain why that was where that was. That was just flat out a mistake, I think. Let's move you over here. Because I think what I can do is I can shove a one meter belt in right there. And if I do that, everything's fine. Let's turn you back on. And like I said, we're going to kind of go backwards a little bit with stuff because... That's how you do this. You go backwards, and then you turn everything back on, and then everything magically works, and you're fine. Uh, what are you doing? You're doing fabric sheets. You guys are all turned on. Okay. So theoretically now, man, I think I just messed that one up back. 
that that's like one of those early days ones when I didn't realize how how persnickety the belt could be and the, the feeding of products to and from belts. So, uh, yeah. Lesson learned. Although, it's interesting because this doesn't really line up properly at all, and yet it still seems to be spitting the boots over there without any problems. So, that one apparently works just fine. Look at this. This is going to be insane now. This thing's going to be like... It's... Yeah, I think this actually will be... Well, maybe it won't be backing up. How about that? What do we have in inventory now? Probably tons of boot soles and tons of fabric boots. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So many of those things just lying around doing nothing. Here, let's buy a hundred of that. I'm going to buy a hundred of that. And then I'm going to wait a couple seconds and then buy a hundred of that. And we'll buy a hundred of that. All right. So I think I need to go back and check on some other stuff back here. So let's just zoom on over back this way. Let's make sure these are working and not colliding. That's looking good. Uh, we should be done with... Did I... Wow, you guys are still working on all those sheets that you've been fed? Holy cow. Alright, that's... That's gonna be a while, apparently. Apparently? No, you should be done by now. Brass roll. Dispenser, puncher. No, you guys should be done, so... That shouldn't be doing anything more now. Oh, I bet these have to go through the heating and cooling still. My bad. Okay. That's why that wasn't working right. My goodness. Whoever said that, thank you. No one actually said that. No one... Maybe no one did say it. I don't know. Uh, I cannot cram this in anywhere, can I? Right there. I mean, it's so close. It, it looks to me like it fits. I think technically it does fit, but it's like... One of these machines is still technically too wide. Alright, well... I, I don't have a way to deal with this right now. Because I have mushed everything in so much... That I just... I can't do this. There's no space right here. And I've basically got to get it over to here to go through heating and cooling. And then it'll... I think and then it'll work. Oh man, I cannot squeeze you into place. Just out of curiosity, if I were to move this guy, would that let me squeeze it in? Nah, still wouldn't. Alright, well, I figured that was worth a shot. But no, it doesn't fit. Alright, well... Whatever. Let's turn these dispensers back on. We'll turn those guys back on. Roll dispensers. Start rolling again. Because I need money. Can we fulfill any of these orders we're kicking around? Literally, one more box of bullets, please. One more box of bullets. I forget all the other changes that happened with... with update 1 and 2, but I think there was a slight change to the amount of money stuff would bring in, so potentially, uh, I don't know, potentially maybe we can make better money on some of the stuff than we otherwise would have if I had recorded this with the last batch of episodes, but apparently not. All right, well, I'm going to say uh, I've broken enough things today and probably need to leave it right here. I mean, man, part of me wants to just do another one of these guys and mirror it on this side. I mean, if I'm just kind of looking at this, and I can probably do about eight punchers worth, if I had to guess, going into this thing. It looks like it takes about eight seconds somewhere, roughly. I'm just kind of ballparking it for it to get enough input to spit out a bunch of bullets. So um, maybe that's what we'll look at doing on the next one, is find a way to really just increase 45 production in, in part because I don't know, I didn't really it's the easiest one I can work on right now, that's that's the truth, okay? That's the truth is that's the easiest one I can work on right now and look at that, boom! 
There's $44,000. We're going to need to take some more orders. So we'll worry about all this stuff on the next one. So I'll catch you in that one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.